Hello everyone, and welcome back to the VOD review series I'm doing on my channel. Once again, a little bit about myself, I've been playing the game for almost 7 years now. I went from bronze to top 500 on console, and I'm currently setting up Masters on PC. Now today we have a mainstay in my community, Kahuna. He writes to me, uh, We lost not too badly, but I think the others support through, or maybe I did, I don't know, I think I did well. I will be the judge of that. This is a Silver 4 Kiriko gameplay, so let's, uh, let's hop right into it. All right, setting up defense on Hollywood. Uh, I don't mind you guys playing this close, but I would rather you guys be playing on the high ground. Okay, that's not good. You wasted your step before the match even started. Just throwing this out here right now. You guys are playing in a very, very bad spot. Uh, I'm sure, you know, this isn't your fault, obviously. This is more your tank's fault. But if you see your drunk right up there, just leave him. He's in a horrible spot, especially because they have a Hanzo. He's just standing there shooting bombs. He should be dead. Like, 100% he should just be dead. Okay. In terms of your positioning, uh, I would rather you've been playing closer to the corner. Um, oh, not that. This. If you were playing, like, you know, by this blue car so you can easily rotate to the white car, and still shooting your kunais, it would have been much better, and you would not have gotten, you know, picked here. So, play closer to the choke, even if your, you know, DPS is throwing by playing on top of they, or your Ryan is playing super far up, you can heal them from afar. You don't want to risk your own life trying to, you know, play in a really bad position. So, play by blue car, or play by white car, so you can get an easy rotate back if they start taking the space. So I'm assuming you lose this fight now because... Okay, they're just not walking on you. That's good. If this was a half-decent team, then they would have just walked on you there and you just would have been dead instantly. Okay, now now you guys all died. So I'm assuming they just take point now. Yeah. So that fight, that wasn't really your fault. It was more your Ryan playing in a an awful position and then you playing in off position with him. Um, now you guys are trying to... Okay. Once again, not really your fault, because you're just trying to follow your team, but they already cap point. There really is no point in trying to take this space back now. Like, you'd be much better off, uh, you know, just playing around this corner here, or even playing on the high ground here. I don't know. They, they, Hollywood's a little rough for Reinhardt. Um, in terms of you, you're, you're just following the team. I don't really have anything really to fault that. Uh, let, let's see if you could have suzu your Junkrat, honestly. That's like the only thing that I can really see here. So you, healing your Rhine. Okay. That's just really, really bad suzu usage. Um... Your Ryan was full HP, even if you did land the Suzu, you didn't need to at all. Your Junkrat ended up dying because you weren't looking at him. So that's just more of an awareness issue and bad ability usage. Look to save your Suzu to either deny a lot of damage, or save someone who's at critical, or save yourself. Those are like the main three uses for Suzu. So, then you use your TP, get to your Ryan, that's fine. Your Ryan pushes back in, he's throwing. Um, like, see... If your Ryan got pinned there and you didn't have Suzu, then... Okay. <laughs> this is a- a lot of this is on your Reinhardt for playing in a very, very bad spot, but that's just what you have to deal with at this rank. You, once again, just needed to be playing this. Playing this corner. Like, you- you can jiggle a little bit, maybe throw a kunai or two, but you just want to sit here, heal your Ryan, you know, jiggle, throw kunais, your Ryan got critical, you were, and him were both critical, so you just want to throw your Suzu down there. And still just jiggling this. Uh, throwing kunais, healing, kunais, healing. You just need, you need to find the cycle. You can throw two kunais between your healing afudas. So you just need to learn that timing and you should be fine. Uh, some, your, your team's winning this because you have Discord. Um, your Sims feeding. Okay. This? This is actually an extremely, extremely good rotate. 
your Ryan, your Sim, and your Zen were stacked here, and you rotated around to try and get their supports. That's good. That was good. I, I think you guys die here anyway. Um, looks like it anyway. <laughs> Actually, no. Wow. I can't believe that. Okay, um... Your junk's getting creative. Uh, you... Yeah, you're just trying to get back into the fight. Y y your team's actually holding this very well, shockingly enough. Okay. That's another really bad Suzu usage, so let's go back a little bit to before you TP on. So, this here... I, I get why you did it, but you didn't need to. And you, you also TP'd in a really bad spot, so like... Yeah, be very careful walking in a straight line again, like that, against the Hanzo. So right now, you should just be hugging the corner more, you're playing really out in the open, which is not good. Another really, really bad Suzu usage. So, you should be thinking to yourself, what ultimates do they have? Like, that, that's something that you should like be thinking about a lot. So, positioning-wise, you should just be sitting around the corner. Um, you know, I, I already explained this, cycling your healing and your kunais. Suzu usage, you really need to work on your Suzu usage, just hold it a little bit longer. Um, you're using it a lot when you don't really need to. And especially because they're about to have shatter. And I don't trust your Reinhardt to block that shatter. And you should not either. Never, never expect your teammates to do something good. Always assume they're going to, like, throw hard. So you should be thinking to yourself, okay, they're about to have shatter. They haven't used dragon. Actually, they haven't used any of their ultimates pretty much all game. But you should be really thinking to yourself, they have Shatter. My team's going to get Shattered. I need Suzu to wake them up. So you just use Suzu here. You're also in a very bad spot. You're split now. You're forced to use Step because of it. Like, th this, is, this is a good spot. Just stay that right-hand side. <laughs> Yora. Wow. Okay. That was just really bad by their Reinhardt. They threw that big time. Like they... Okay. Uh, another really, really early Suzu. Uh, I'm glad that you're using it, but you just need to use it a bit more sparingly, you know? Like, if you... Like, you're about to become critical because the more is shooting you. If you had Suzu now, it would be a much, much better time to use it. They... Dragon? Okay. Okay. Do not... Unless your Reinhardt is dead, and there's like two people alive, and one of them is not Hanzo, do not walk in front of your Rhine shield, even to do damage. Also, awareness, once again, you should have realized that a Rhine in behind you. Once again, really early Suzu, but I like the initiative with your ultimate. It is really, really good to keep tempo using ultimates. So I like this. Uh, you guys are still pushed up way, way too far for my liking, but it's working. So, uh, just future reference, don't try and hold here. If your team's not, don't like try and call to hold here. This is really bad. Um, but I like the initiative with your ult. You forced them back. Now, you should have heard okay, another really, really easy, like, early Suzu. So, biggest, biggest thing I can see right now is Suzu usage. You just need to hold on to it longer. Hold on to it for when you actually need it. You know? Okay. Oh, okay. Don't do that. <laughs> Uh, Urine should have backed up to where you were backing up. That's on him. But you just TP'd in front of your Reinhardt when the Hanzo was shooting him, the Rhine was swinging on him. That was almost very, very bad for you. You are lucky. Okay, that was a good Suzu. That was a really good Suzu. You saved your Reinhardt. Good job. But, and then your Reinhardt throws it all away, mate pinning into their entire team. Um, so, you lose this fight, probably because they don't have a tank, and they have more ultimates than you. Um, 
But if you do lose, then it's because you're riding through. This one's not really on you. Wow! Okay. Early Suzu. Um, that's probably the last time I'm gonna mention it. Okay. Yeah, th this is good though. Playing, playing, like... Right there, if you had Suzu, you don't die, your Zen doesn't die, your junk goes back to full. Like... Just Suzu usage, pretty much. So, let's just skip forward a little bit. Next fight. Playing in front of your Reinhardt. Bad. No, no. Um, you should be playing... Play corners tighter. Especially. They have a Hanzo. You should be... This Hanzo is looking at you. There's a fire strike coming to you. You should be quaking in your boots right now. You should be scared. Terrified. Their Hanzo... One shot, one log down lane, and you are gone. You're back in spawn room for the next 10 seconds, all right? You're getting stuck on geometry. You'll be get better at that over time, or at least you do. Um, you just play that corner tighter. You're not playing behind your Rhine shield at all. Okay, they have shatter. You need to be very careful here. I'm assuming you're just going to Suzu up cooldown again. Nice! Your Rhine blocked the shatter. That's good. Okay, this is fine. You're just healing your junk. Now, okay. Right there, you should have realized, oh, my Reinhardt is low. Screw your junk rat. Like, the second you saw your Rhine become yellow, you should have just turned to him and started healing him from a far range. Like, Hanzo might kill your junk. Yeah, that's fine, but he, your junk is stationary. It's going to be a headshot that you can't heal anyway. It's much more impactful to just keep your Reinhardt alive in this fight. Not trying to heal the enemy Hanzo. I respect it. Um, <laughs> uh, you also you also reload a lot when you don't really need to. Okay, that that's a, that that's just a low rank moment. Um, you should be playing corners tighter. You didn't need Suzu. You could have just healed. Like very close. Um, you if you had Suzu early, oh, you should have TP'd to your run like a second earlier. Nice. I like this. Once again, your ult usage, I don't really have a problem with so far. You're using ults to try and keep the tempo, even when you're down a player. That's something that you need to praise yourself for being able to do. Because a lot of the time, a lot of the time, people don't do that. Okay. You, you, needed, to, you needed to follow your Ryan and Suzu. You needed to Suzu that. And you're also playing out in the open again, which is why you died. But... Your Ryan shouldn't have pinned back there. That's on him. Your junk got pinned, so you could have Suzu'd that. But honestly, you died because you were out in the open. Your junk died because you didn't Suzu him. And your Ryan died because he pinned behind a wall where you couldn't Suzu him without teleporting. So, that's why you lose this fight here. Sucks to use wall, but it happens. Okay. Uh, a little dueling tip. Um... If you're, play, if you're fighting against a Hanzo, look to do long strafes to one side or the other. Be random with it, so he can't just easily shoot you. Um, oh, you, you just tried to Suzu there. Look at That is a perfect example. You just tried to Suzu there. But it's, what, five seconds after you just tried that? And n neither of you are critical. You have taken, what, 11 points of damage? Your Ryan is... He has almost full health. You didn't need the Suzu there, and I'm very happy it was on cooldown. I'm assuming you just Suzu right after I pause this, but... Yeah. Bad Suzu. But I'm beating a dead horse about that one. Walking in a straight line to get to Hanzo. Bad. Um, didn't realize the Zen behind you. Also bad. That's just an awareness issue. Um, but movement, awareness, that stuff will just get better with time. That was a creative Suzu. Your your Ana was full. You were full. Your what junk rat was like down three HP, but now he's full because the Ana was looking at him. And you didn't even TP onto your drunker. You TP'd onto your Ana and then insta Suzu'd. Not good. Um, I know I said I'm not gonna talk about that anymore, but that that one was a that was that was an exception right there. That was a bad one. Um, 
just walking forward without a Rhine, walking in a straight line against a Hanzo. Um, okay. My gift to you. Your Sim and Junk are in a great position, but your Rhine is not there. Your Rhine is coming from spawn. <laughs> so you should be calming to your team right now. Rhine isn't with you. Back up. Because you can take this space still if your Rhine gets back. But your Sim right now is feeding her brains out. And I hope, I hope. Hope you do not TP with her. I, I'll just shut up. You still gotta pick. Two to that. Oh, very late on the Suzu. Your Suzu stays for like half a second. You could have just Suzu'd as he was like pinning across. Because I think you're on. Con I think you're using control. I think you're on console. Um. So yeah, you could have just Suzu'd if even if you couldn't turn fast enough to get it, then you could have just Suzu'd. Um. Like as he was pinning. Nice. Uriah is taking space. You follow him. That's good. You didn't need. To, you did not need to teleport there. You you have an auto. That means you have an easy escape if things get bad. You don't want to use your step to do short jumps like that. Uh, don't play in front of Uriah. Forehead. Nice. There, okay. Back where you just were. That is perfect. That range is how far away you want to be from your Reinhardt. Okay. Moira standing still. Okay. You're bailing your Rhine up. Not bad. But you need to keep backing. Because they have a soldier looking at you and a Hanzo looking at you. Um, you're still playing in line of sight of that wasted Isuzu. Okay. So. They're about to shatter. I can see it in the enemy Rhine's eyes. You just use Suzu. Your Rhine is not in a position to block your Sim, your Junk, or you from this shatter. So... You're probably going to lose this fight because they shatter and you die. They're probably going to shatter Visor, actually, if I had to guess. Or Ryan backs up like an idiot and doesn't shatter. Okay, they didn't, they didn't need to use any ults, actually. Uh, your junk took a stupid duel against the soldier. He's just jumping around. Climb the wall. Climb the wall. Climb the wall. Okay. Little thing about Kiriko. She can wall climb. Um, so, when you got stuck... Okay, first of all, yeah. Junk took a stupid duel. Don't jump against Soldier Forehead. Uh, Ryan was playing on bad side of the cart. Your Honor didn't heal him. You couldn't really heal him because he was playing bad side of the cart. Okay, right. First of all, you get stuck on a fence. Like, you get stuck on a broken fence. You don't even get, like, stuck on the wall. You, you just get stuck on a fence. You could just walk a little to your right, and you would have been fine. So, but instead, you jump down. You jump down. And then you teleport to Irana and Suzu. And then you don't wall climb, and you die because of it. So, I'm assuming they just steamrolled this with ults now, if I had to guess. You pick their Ryan. Okay, I'll shut up then. Use ults. Oh. oh. Okay, let's back this up a little bit here. Okay. Yeah, this is where you die. Okay. You TP into the fight. Um, did you have someone off to the side? Uh, yeah, you should have TP'd your junk instead of onto your Ryan. Just in case, you know, he was in a bad spot. So. You TP here. Everyone is full. Every okay. Look down when you Suzu, forehead. Um, your team was in a very bad spot. That Hanzo just got a massive, massive dragon. Um, so, yeah. That's just unlucky. Really need to work on your Suzu usage from what I can see. Ult usage is... Good, you're proactive with it, but you're getting your ults really slow. Um, that's just because you're not you're not really healing as much as you need to. Uh, you you're not damaging a lot. You're kind of just looking around, not doing a whole lot. It's a Kiriko is a lot like Zen, and you want to constantly be doing something with your hands. All right, 
Just constantly be throwing kunais, constantly be throwing heals. Like, yeah, this is good. Just walk forward and start throwing kunais. Um, don't... Okay, bad Suzu. Don't try and, like, duel a soldier up there. If your junk pushes into the room, you can sit behind him. Heal, kunai, kunai, heal, kunai, kunai. Um, this is lack of awareness, so you should be looking around a lot more. Um, because... You have... Okay, good Suzu. Good Suzu. I like that. Saved you, uh, saved you Doomfist. You have time in between your heals to look around a little bit. Like, that soldier, you should have threw healing. Well, you didn't really need to throw healing because he had his healing station down anyway. But you could have thrown healing and then looked to your left and saw, Oh, wow, my, my Brig is low. My Doomfist went in. My Junkrat is dueling someone. And then you could have just turned back and went healing again. If you did, you could have seen, oh wow, my, my Brig is feeding her brains out, but my Doomfist is with her, so this is this could work. And you could have, you know, started walking that way, healed, maybe thrown Suzu if your Brig got low. Uh, but your Brig dies, good Suzu, you save your Doomfist. Um, you're playing out in the open a lot, I don't like that. Okay, your Doomfist is kind of feeding right now. Uh, that's not on you. Bad Suzu. Um, you're just playing really, really out in the open, and you're not engaging with the team. At all. Uh, and also, right there with that drunk rat. Who was pushing him? What characters were pushing your drunk rat right there? Like, watch. Watch. You, you watch your drunk rat. You look at your drunk rat. Right, right here. Who's pushing your drunk rat? It's a Moira. You could you could TP to your drunker right now and take a duel with this Moira while healing your junk. Remember, you have time for two kunais in between your healing. Just TP there, one healing burst on your junk, kunai, kunai, and then you and junk against one Moira should win 100% of the time. Because that Moira just used Fade to get in. Like, that Moira... Okay, you, the Moira dies anyway, but like... Bad. Uh, Lucio then pushes top. Um... You're doomed. Look, you're lucky that Suzu hit, but honestly, just heal him. Because Suzu is very, very powerful. Uh, once again, walking in a straight line, don't do that. Just that's just bad movement. It'll get better with time. Nice. No, okay, nice. Okay. That minus like movement, mechanical error, whatever. That theoretically by a play standard that was insanely good you were dealing damage and you use suzu to defend yourself i don't hate that that is good good job um yeah this, this is mechanical failure you know missing missing the soldier i'm not gonna fall to on mechanical failure that was a little silly this this was a little silly watch your health watch your health 46 health Zero health. You know, one echo shot. It killed you. Uh, don't TP into a battle when you're at low health. You could have just walked main and gotten the same value here. Except you don't die. Which is infinitely better. So, uh, you shouldn't have died there. You shouldn't have TP'd. Simple as. Uh, hopefully you guys win this. You got a tick. The Brig is one. You're still getting picks. Uh, okay, yeah, you win that. You win that. Good. Good, 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 good. Let's go to the next fight. Okay, bad Suzu. But whatever. Uh, but nice. Okay. Their Reinhardt is awful at this game. Um, like... First of all, he pushed it way too far. And second of all, Doomfist... Doomfist is a counter to Ryan if the Ryan is bad. Okay? Doomfist is getting value right here because their Reinhardt is bad. Nice! Good! That's good. You're dealing damage, then you healed. Now, I'm sure if you had Suzu, you would have used it there, which would have been bad. But what you did right there was good. Good. Very good. There's a Moira flanking you. You should realize that. Nice. Don't Suzu. Okay. Whatever. That's fine. Very nice. Now. Yeah. You should just win this now. Ooh. That's... That's unfortunate. You should have heard Visor above you and just, you know, tucked into 
this little spot right here, if you just played under here, uh, you would have gotten Suzu back by the time he dropped. Um, so. Uh, don't die. Don't lose. Your team can't kill one soldier. Interesting. Uh, okay, there, Ryan is feeding his brains out. Uh, so is your May. Your May is playing, you know, way in front of your tank. Your tank is low. You just got back into the fight. Everyone's low. I wouldn't mind you suiting right here and then focusing on healing your May. Late on that Suzu. Very late on that Suzu. Nice! Good. Good ult usage. Very good. Using ults to clean up fights is very good. It's, just, it's the same as keeping tempo. Now, bad Blizzard, you should always look to wall before you Blizzard, so they're stuck. Um, but good rally, bad Blizzard, good Euro, good rush, good rush. Very good. Uh, unfortunate you used that many ults, though. Bad Suzu. Very bad Suzu. Your Junkrat, your Junkrat carried this fight if you guys win. Yeah, your Junkrat carried that fight by a big tire. You, bad Suzu, very bad Suzu. Actually, you might lose this fight. Your, your Doom needs to get that soldier off high ground. Like, it's really bad. Um, let's go to the next fight. Um, I, I think this is just them getting close spawn. Yeah. That, you don't really need to worry about too much. They got close spawn, you had two up. Your team should have realized that, and they should have backed up main to get to you. That's not on you. Okay, that fight, just not on you. That was more on them. Um, your drunk rat is feeding. No, he's fine. He's getting out. Very good, very good. Bad Suzu. Um, whatever. Now, look at where your team's gone. Your Doomfist and your Mei are playing, are taking the smart route. Well, hopefully, they go high ground here. Because you need to get this soldier off of high ground. And Kiri, believe it or not, she's very good at diving. So your Doom goes onto this soldier, you TP to him, you help him with the fight. Don't TP Suzu, you TP in, heal, kunai, kunai, heal, kunai, kunai. This soldier should be 100% dead. Because Mercy's not with him, Ryan's not with him. Nobody is with this soldier to help him if you guys dive. So you should be walking right side with your Doomfist. You, you, your Doomfist doesn't go high ground anyway. Nice! Now, let me ask you this. Why didn't you jump up with your Junkrat? Let's watch this. You see your Junkrat jump. You see him there. You have an opportunity to TP. You, you should have TP'd in right here. Their soldier got to 1 HP. Your Junkrat's about to die. You you should have TP'd up with your Junkrat to take this fight. But instead, is that he dies. And you use TP to get into a suboptimal position. Nice, good Suzu. Saved you, Doomfist. You're... They're... They're, they're, they're Reinhardt. Dumb. He cancelled their pin. Um, you don't have Suzu. Everyone's clumped up. You have no shield. They just visored. You... Probably die here, if I had to guess. Yeah. Yeah. They use copy, they use visor, they use more ultimates than you, and you didn't get that soldier up high ground. That's why you died. Well, that's why you lost that fight right there. So, they had more ults, they used them, and then is your junk. Your junk rat is throwing. Wow, okay. Um, whatever. Uh, honestly, here, I would have swapped Sigma instead of the Doom, but Doom first works, you know, you, you can dive, but you just need to make sure you actually dive instead of just walking main. Okay. Good Suzu, but you missed it, and I'm gonna tell you why it's a good Suzu. You Suzu'd because she got stuck by every single sticky that Echo had, and you threw Suzu before it went off. You want to do, I, I said this earlier, you want to Suzu for one of three things. To prevent a lot of damage, to heal a critical teammate, and to save yourself. 
That right there, that was an instance of the first one. She was about to take a massive amount of damage from Sticky. And you threw Suzu, but you missed it. Un unlucky. Uh, just mechanical stuff. You'll get better with it over time. Don't worry. Uh, nice. Oh, your brig dropped. Okay. Here, you need to be screaming at your team to just walk high ground. Take the elevator. Go high ground. Get that soldier off. That soldier needs to get off that high ground. Now. Because you guys are just going to get poked out. Uh, unlucky, you didn't have Suzu, I don't think. Um, and if you did, you know, bad reaction, you'll get better with it over time. Uh, you need you need to be thinking about what ultimates do they have, what ults they're probably going to use. Um, it'll, it'll, it'll get you a lot better at the game. So you should have been thinking to yourself, wow, they have Shatter. I'm going to play out of LOS of it so I can Suzu my team. But you get Shattered, your whole team gets Shattered. You're going to die, Briggs going to die, Doom is probably going to get out, and Maze is definitely going to die. Yeah, you die, Brig dies, May dies, and Doofus gets out. No, he went in deeper. Wow, okay. I'm assuming your Doom dies? No way! What is- Your Doomfist is cooking. Wow. Unfortunately, the- the gas just ran out on that stove. So, last fight, you didn't flush the soldier out, so he got free poke on you. You didn't do anything for Shatter. That's unlucky. So once again, that was just the case of them using more ults than you guys, and you losing because of it. Now, you have Rally, you have Blizzard, you have Tyre, and you're about to get uh, Kyrie ult. I'm assuming you win because you use a lot of ults and they don't have any. I'm assuming, assuming that's why you win here. Why you win this fight. But you should win this fight. On paper... Okay, there it goes dumb. Um, good shots. Bad Suzu. Honestly, it's a fire strike. You don't need to Suzu fire strike. You should just walk to the side. It's a fire strike. You're not going to die to it. Uh, good on your May to realize that the Ryan is probably going to pin out if she doesn't freeze him faster. This, very good. Very good. Your drunk rat's a little low. You saw that, you know, a second ago. But very good. You're walking forward. Trying to brawl because you have an insane advantage. Very good. Eh, unlucky on the Suzu. I see what you're trying to do there. Um, you should carry ult like now. Yeah, they're, they're walking out. Nice. Very good. Nice. Very, very good ultimate. Also, just pointing this out, the soldier is still on high ground. Nobody got him off. Um, very, very good carry ult. Okay, very good. <laughs> You kept tempo with it. Mmm, rush. Uh, rough. Yeah, whatever. You kept point. Good. Um, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. Why did you die there? You died because the soldier was on high ground. So he got an off, lane, off angle on you guys. They have a lot more poke than you guys do, right? So they want to take those long, mid to long range battles. You want to look for burst battles you want to engage maybe get a pick if you don't get a pick you get out you wait you do it all over again so they their soldier first of all he built another visor already which is very bad for you but he just sat on that high ground for so long and he was just poking your team as you walked this entirety of uh, second point here so you you all die here because, you know, their soldier never got pushed off high ground. And then they used a lot of ults. But you have close spawn, so you should just, you know, steamroll onto him. Please, just go the high ground. Okay. Bad Suzu. Very bad Suzu. Because if you had Suzu there, your May wouldn't have died. Your Doom would be full. Now, they're about to have another Shatter. I hope you can realize that. Very, very bad Suzu timing. You Doomfist went in too deep, and bad Suzu, you didn't save your May. You can't heal through walls, don't try. Nice! Huge tire! This is the second fight, your junk got a huge tire, and you're probably gonna win the fight because- Oh, no. No, I, I could tell just by looking up at the screen. They have Copy, they have Visor, they have Shatter, they are about to Shatter. They're probably gonna Copy soon, too. 
And you don't have anything. Yep, that's copy. They copy Doom. Shatter's probably gonna come out now, if I had to guess. Nope, they die with Shatter. Nice. You only won this fight because you killed the two people who had ults on their team. And they had a very bad copy. That's why that's why you won this fight. Oh yeah. You know what? Bad Suzu, but good intentions. You did it to prevent a large amount of damage. But you didn't need to, because all of them were dead. But I don't care too much. You're gonna get it back before the next fight happens anyway. Alright. So you honestly just trust Cart, Tears, and Yada. Go up top with them. Because your Junkrat's up there, your Doomfist is up there. Your Doomfist is in a very, very good spot. He's set up to deny the soldier and to get an insanely good dive on their backline. Uh, unfortunate they swapped Farah. Um, Alright, you know what? Good Suzu. But you didn't need to. Good, very, very good intentions. Okay? You tried to preemptively Suzu because you saw the pin coming towards you. Very good. Okay? Very, very good. Unlucky that, one, he didn't hit you with the pin. And two, you aimed, you know, way too far in front of you. Okay, but you have your Doomfist with you. You're about to die. I hate to break it to you. Yeah. Uh, that's a GG, I think. Should be a GG. I don't think you can win this. Yeah, okay, yeah. That uh, is a GG. Alright. So. Uh, biggest. Biggest takeaways from this, alright? I, I need you to work on your Suzu usage. That's like the biggest, biggest thing. Just work on Suzu usage. Your ult usage is good. You use it preemptively. Your Suzu's really, really need some work. Positioning, look to play corners tighter. And if you're on dive... Look to dive in with your tank. Dive in with your monkey, dive in with your doom fist, with your diva. If you're going for a hard, committed dive, I need you to dive in with them, with your TP. Then Suzu usage, look to use it a lot more sparingly. You shouldn't just be using it off cooldown. Don't use it when they're full health. Don't use it when you're in a safe position. Like, so if you're behind a corner and two of your teammates are critical, don't use Suzu unless you're getting actively walked on. If you're, you know, just in a safe spot, stabilizing, don't use Suzu. Um, but yeah, honestly, that's all I have to say to you. Pretty good for a silver game, I can't lie. Um, but if you just work on those few things, honestly, you could probably just get to plat, like, really, really easily with how, with what I've seen. Uh, just do what I said, you get to plat easily. Uh, that's about it. If you guys watching would also like your VOD reviewed by me, join my Discord, link in the description, and post your replay codes in their VOD review channel. Other than that, that's all I have. See you guys in the next video.